Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D, and I'm here with Tamara from Panasonic. Tamara, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, we are here actually to talk, I mean, we already covered the full-frame camera, uh, but we don't want to neglect uh, the GH5 and the GH5S, which actually just about to get an important firmware update. What it's all about? Well, um, mostly we've tried to improve further the com continuous autofocus because we have been following very closely to the internet talks, to the complaints, and although we think our DFDAF system is really good, we acknowledge that the community that use widely the AFC still had trouble. So we covered that with two measures. The first measure is that we've just released um, a new AF guide that you can download from our website, which explains into depth all the use cases and how you can tune the AF. And the second thing is that we are going to release a new firmware update for GH5 and GH5S in late October, which is addressing AFC jumping. It has been reported that the AF would be jumping from foreground to background, so we've picked up that problem and we've tuned the standard settings and we worked on the algorithm, so um, this is going to be improved. The last time that you introduced a firmware update that was actually dealing with uh, autofocus was in May. So this is quite quite right after and that's not normally the the usual cycles of uh, updating firmware mm -hmm. why so fast the reason is that if we develop something and if something is ready we want to give it to the existing customers as well so we could have kept it in the cupboard and just waited for the new release of the new products but then we thought we have existing cameras and we want to keep them in our line we want to make our cameras compatible we want to have a worthwhile customer experience so why not release a firmware update once the thing is ready that we want and give it to the existing customer. Okay, so this is also kind of acknowledgement from, uh, or, I mean, like as users, we can be confident that you will continue to enhance the GH5 and the yes. GH5S, although the full frame camera is just around the corner. Yes, exactly, certainly, that's it. <laughs> you also introduced uh, or announced a new lens, the 10 to 25 1.7. Why? Why a new lens? I mean, of course it's very nice, but what need did you identify in order to, um, uh, and you, you felt like you had to address? We wanted to have a prime universal shooter, which is addressing um, photography and video customers with the great quality to go with the demand at the prof more professional demand that is going on in our system. We've seen in the past years that a GH5 line has been picked up more and more to be a b-roll camera and then it's coming up to the market it's now being wildly acknowledged and used on a professional level and so we wanted a professional universal lens and this 10 to 25 covers so many standard focal lenses on a wide aperture i mean it's the widest uh, the, yeah the fastest lens the widest aperture in this kind of focal range that there is for mft and um Basically, we want to give the best quality. It's a very silent lens. It's uh, perfect for video, especially in the wide angle, the 10 millimeter. And uh, we're trying to replace the need for several primes because there are situations where you do not want to or you cannot change, but you want the prime quality. So basically, we're giving you a quintet of lenses in one zoom lens. But you, I mean, first of all, very nice. <laughs> but you will, will you agree with me that actually every zoom lens with a constant aperture from a certain focal length to a certain contra uh, focal length is actually exchanging prime lenses in terms of focal length, maybe not the quality. But you, you know what I mean? It's, uh, uh, I, I think you kind of describe like, uh, you know, we, we are replacing five, five lenses here, yeah, but that, that will be kind of valid with any zoom lens. Yes, but you, you said the exact uh, point, quality. We want prime quality. So you can actually guarantee a prime quality with, within the range of this lens, that's what you're saying? That's what it's intended to be. It's intended to be a prime lens, no? being a zoom lens. The intention, we are at a development stage, but the lens is being developed as to be a no compromise lens, yes. It has been developed again with our partners at Leica. We have a very strong strategical background, as you know and as you've heard at the press conference. It reaches back a long time and I think the lenses that we have, look at the Noctichrome, look at the A218, um, show the way. And the 10-25 to 25 
is riding exactly on that line. It's intended to be a prime shooter. Can you please um, maybe share with us when you are developing a lens together with Leica, what is the Leica part and what is the Panasonic part? Because obviously it's a, it's a joint venture, but as much as you can elaborate. Well, actually, and this will be disappointing, I cannot tell you details about that. It is, it is a joint development, but the details we cannot disclose. Sorry. Okay, Tamar, thank you very much for the explanation. Ah, by the way, uh, before uh, we say goodbye, pricing and availability, any, any idea about when the lens will be available? Unfortunately not. So the availability is not in direct sight, so it will not be early 2019, so it will not be coming together with the new full frame announcement. Um, and as we are at this stage of development, certainly we don't have pricing and um, I cannot help you out. But stay tuned, because I think next Fotokina we will have many more details and it will be worthwhile. Just to remind the audience, next Fotokina is actually in May. Yes. Um, from a, from a yes. dual yearly um, um, show, it's becoming our yeah. yearly show. Yeah. So Stay tuned. <laughs> Tamar, thank you very much for the information. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.